Hi, I'm Dr. Sovereigns, and I'm here today to talk to you about senior dog care. I've got two helpers today. I have Mackenzie, who's my assistant, and she's going to ask me questions that we routinely get asked here at Countryside Veterinary Clinic. And I have my very own dog. He's a Norwich Terrier. His name is Forrest, and he was born in 2008, so he's 12 years of age. And you can tell that he is a little older. His hair is a little gray. His eyes look a little foggy when you look at him. And I know he's already starting to not hear as well as he used to. So he'll be a good uh, assistant today um, for these questions that Mackenzie's going to ask me. All right, Dr. Sovereigns, what is the life expectancy of a dog? Well, it really depends on the, believe it or not, the size of the dog. Dogs that are giant breeds, like Great Danes and uh, in particular, they live a shorter lifetime. We hope they make it 10 years, maybe 12, but that would be unusual. Their lifetime lifespan is a little shorter. Small dogs like this live the longest. He's a little 17 pound dog. Um, his life expectancy would probably be more like 15 years or 16 years. All right, and how does getting older impact the health of the dog? But when they get older, one thing's for sure, they are going to slowly but surely not be able to see, or see as clearly. Their lens should be clear like a window when they're a puppy, and as they get older, it gets more foggy, eventually like looking through a milk jug. So they're not going to be able to see as well. When that happens, we need to make accommodations like turn the lights on um, and make sure things aren't in their way, make sure they can see us. The second thing that's definitely gonna happen is they're gonna lose their hearing. And we're starting to see that in Forrest already. Um, a lot of times he'll be sleeping soundly. And when I come up to him and, and pet him, he jumps. He didn't know I was there. Sometimes in the house, I've moved away from where he was sleeping. I'd have to go back and say, hey, you know, do you wanna go out for a walk? Normally he would have been much quicker for things like that. The other thing, our large breed dogs get um, arthritis a lot. They have a harder time uh, getting up and uh, going up and down steps jumping in and out of the car uh, so we have to assist them and things like that so those are three things that's probably gonna happen to all of our dogs all right and how can wellness care extend the life and vitality of my dog well it's very important that we give our dogs the best care we can from the time that we own them so if it's puppy care we want to be sure that they have all their vaccines so they never um, suffer from um, distemper or parvo or a disease that we know we could have prevented to begin with the next thing, we want to be sure to use our preventives, our heartworm preventives, flea and tick preventives, uh, which also protect, protect against intestinal parasites because we don't want them to ever be burdened by uh, those uh, in, in, uh, parasites that we could have avoid, avoided. Next thing, we really want them to have good nutrition throughout their whole life. We don't want them to be undernourished, but we don't want them to be over uh, supplemented either. We don't want too many calories in their food and they're overweight, too much calcium or phosphorus and they um, develop bladder stones or go into kidney uh, disease sooner. So those are all, those are the three most important things. Vaccines, uh, heart pre or preventative flea and tick, and also really good nutrition. And what are the most common problems in senior dogs? The very most common problem you're all gonna see is they're not gonna be able to see as well. When that happens, let's keep the lights on, let's not move the furniture around, let's be more patient and, and uh, let them take their time on the steps. Um, hearing, I think we're gonna have to make adjustments. They didn't hear us, they might not hear a car coming, let's be more careful, keep them on a leash, um, make a lot of good decisions for them. Uh, as far as dogs that are having trouble getting up and getting down, maybe joint supplements, maybe pain medications might help them. Um, certainly maybe assisting them to get up and get down or building them a ramp, finding other ways that they don't have to have so many steps and uh, uh, things that, that are in their way that encumbers their uh, ability to walk and move around. Does my dog still need regular wellness exams as they get older? They certainly do need wellness exams as they get older. That's a good time for us to look at their eyes and to ask the owners about their hearing, check their teeth. Do they have uh, dental disease? Do they have a tooth abscess? Do they have a heart murmur? Are we hearing that now? Are their lymph nodes enlarged? Are they overweight? Those are good questions that we want to address as soon as we see them. And we also do a, a lot of uh, uh, early care blood work so we can perhaps pick up a problem before it really becomes a, a known clinical sign. And what are some signs and symptoms that my dog may be slowing down? Well I think that they don't seem as energetic in the backyard. They don't necessarily all go for long walks anymore. When they go out back they just seem to want to come back in. They do everything a little slower. They eat a little slower. They walk a little slower. Some of those things are just normal. Um, things that happen when they get older. 
And why is it important to avoid self-diagnosing if my dog is slowing down or whether they're actually sick? Well, we never want to make a decision in an accident and say, my dog is getting old, that's a sign of old age when it really wasn't. For instance, if a dog can't see as well, and if it was sudden, was it more, was it glaucoma or was it a cataract? or was it just the old age signs of, uh, of aging? So a veterinarian can help you there. Another example is a dog that can't get up very well, seems real lethargic, having some bad days. It's not fair to assume that it's arthritis. Maybe it's a splenic tumor and it ruptured. So I would, um, if you have any sudden changes, by all means, please see a veterinarian. And if it's a chronic, uh, slower change, to see them because maybe there's some way we can intervene and help right away. And what will my uh, veterinarian be looking for when examining my senior dog? We're always going to look at their eyes, their ears, their teeth, their lymph nodes, their heart, their, listen to their lungs. We're going to palpate their abdomen and feel their uh, bladder and spleen. And we're going to take their temperature and we're going to look at their hair coat. And then we're definitely going to ask you uh, questions about the history and ask you how you feel that your dog is doing. We'll, we'll work together as a team. Mm -hmm. Okay, so if you have any other questions about senior dog care, I hope this video has helped you a lot, but if you still have more additional questions, please call us at 410-461-2400. Thank you.